Hi everybody, this is the Investing Teacher, high school science teacher teaching others how to invest. In this new video series, I'm going to be doing a options strategy using cash secured puts and covered calls. And the goal is to earn at least 2% per month via premiums. I'm going to do this with a $10,000 account in my Roth IRA, and I'll be showing every trade that I make. So if you want to follow along with me, this will be a good idea if you're interested in making some passive income every month. Let's get started. All right, if you guys look in the description down below this video, I did leave all this information there in a link. So the goal in this new challenge, so to speak, I'm going to have $10,000. I'm going to leave it in a Roth IRA. The goal is to get $200 per month in returns or 2% a month. And this is an average of all the months. So I'm going to do this for a full year. The goal is to get $2,400 in net premiums with this $10,000 starting amount. Okay. Not every month will necessarily be 2%. Some months might be higher. Some months might be lower, depending on what type of options I'm using, when I have to buy to close them, if I have to roll them and all that other stuff. Here's some of the general rules. Can they could change at any time because we're allowed to, right? I don't have to invest all $10,000 every day. If I see an opportunity where um, it's not quite good with the premiums, I'm going to wait. So it could be at 9,000, 8,000, whatever. I could invest slightly more to fill assignments, but no more than 12,000. I don't want to have a big float of more than that because then I could get carried away with it. Um, obviously, if I'm right at 10,000 and I see a good rolling opportunity where I could buy to close and then sell a new one, I might be over the 10,000 for a little bit. And sometimes if the strike price looks better at a certain amount, I might go slightly over 10,000. Okay, As you'll see in the initial options that I made, I am slightly over 10,000 already, but it's pretty close to it. I'm going to choose high implied volatility. They need to be at least 40% in current implied volatility. And the delta is no more than 0.4. That's a pretty wide range there. I mean, some of my implied volatilities are over 100% right now. Some of my deltas are close to 0.4. But as you'll see with different options that we have, you could easily change those parameters and make it more risky or less risky. Like if I do a 40% volatility and a delta of 0.1, that is very likely going to be very safe and conservative, but it won't necessarily hit our 2% a month. I'm going to do from weeklies up to about 30, 45 days till expiration. I'm going to probably stagger depending on what I like in the particular positions and the news. I might do some weeklies or I might do some monthlies. In the end of each quarter, so I'm going to wait until end of March of the first quarter, I'm going to put the profits that I made for that quarter into VYM, which is my high dividend yield ETF. My main goal this next year in 2021 is whatever I could contribute to my Roth IRA, I'm going to put in VYM anyway. And I figure any profits that I get here, I'll leave into VYM. Now I'm only going to do it once every quarter in case that I need a little bit of extra funds. I could use that from the previous gains that I might have made in my previous options. Here's some general resources. The Reddit Theta gang, what they do is they are pretty strong on selling options, so selling cash secured puts and selling covered calls. And they look at stocks that have pretty high volatility, so they could get pretty good returns off it. Stockoptionschannel.com is where I look at most of my um, different bid and ask prices and different percentages. So if you go to stockoptionschannel.com, Let's just type realty income, for instance. It's going to show you time to expiration. Again, I'm going to be looking either weeklies or up to 45 days. So, for instance, let's say I wanted to sell a covered call on realty income. What's good about this is it'll show the yield at um, when it expires. So, 15 days till expiration, if I sold the 62.50 covered call, I'll get 0.74 in 15 days. You will swipe that by two you'd be getting about 1.5% for the month, which is pretty close to the average 2% a month that I'm looking for. Okay. Another resource that's been very good I found from the Theta Gang is SwaggyStocks.com. And then they have an FD ranker. So in Swaggy Stocks, they have options with pretty high implied volatilities. So you could go 200% even. And then you could look at stock prices. I'm usually going to be selling cash secured puts in the beginning to get um, 
to start the wheel strategy in most of these cases. So if you look at the stock price, let's say I have $1,000 left to invest. I could look at a stock that's close to 10, maybe at 12 or 13, and then sell a cash secured put at 10. So then I'd be using my full amount of money that I have to invest. There's different Facebook groups that I'm in. One is the options wheel group. Another one is cash secured puts. Uh, there's a lot of helpful investors in there that's been showing their trades and showing options that they've been using. So I'm going to be using that as a resource if I see any possibly good recommendations there on what to start a position in. I might use those. And viewers like you, I'm going to consider any type of option that you might think would be a good idea for this challenge. So if you please leave a comment down below on this or any of the videos in this series. If you are currently investing in any cash secure puts or covered calls that you might want me to consider as well. I'll definitely take a look at any of the ones that you comment on and I might actually do them. So definitely leave those recommendations so we could actually get this 2% per month. I would recommend if some of you guys are relatively intermediate so you know what cash secured and covered calls are, is to try to do a similar challenge to me. I think 2% a month is not only a good return, but also pretty likely and pretty conservative compared to some of these other options that I see. Um, as you'll see in my starting positions, they're quite a bit higher than 2% a month. I didn't necessarily exercise any. Some might get exercise and then I get to do covered calls. Some of them might not necessarily keep the two percent a month but as you'll see shortly the options that i do have are pretty much higher than two percent a month so i made a separate tab on my goals here and if you want i could leave a link to how i actually wrote this out so in the first column i'm going to write cover call or cash secured put i'm going to start all these with cash secured puts so the last few days, I put $10,000. I've moved a few of my trades to have exactly $10,000 into my buying power for my Roth IRA. Stock name goes here. The date I sold them, as you can see, some of them I actually did this morning. A few of them I did a few days ago. I'm going to consider this 2021 because it's pretty much the last day of the year anyway. Um, date of expiration was when I'm actually going to see when it expires worthless. Here's the current stock prices. Here's the strike prices. That's how much money I'm gonna to need to hold in my brokerage times 100. So for instance, PSTH, stock price is 26.78. I sold the strike price of 25. Gotta multiply it by 100. So that means I need $2,500 into my brokerage account. By the way, I'm not doing anything on margin. This is all in cash that's in the brokerage, okay? Here at the premium amount, here I wrote the amount of money I would gain per day if the option expires worthless. So what I did here is the premium was 174 for PSTH from the 30th to February 19th. It's about 49 days. So you take the premium divided by the number of days, and this tells you the gain per day. Um, these numbers need to be, I think, at least about 80 cents or so a day to get 2% a month. The delta is the approximate percent that they might expire worthless. And I want to look at 0.4 or less. There was one on PLTR that I made a little bit higher. And I'm already pretty negative on it, but this is what it goes. Outcome will say buy to close at a certain price. Let's say PSTH, I made a good amount of premium. Let's say I could buy it back for $40 in a week or so. I'm going to buy to close at that point. So I'd write B to C, 40. And then these will be a debit compared to what the premiums were. Here's my profit and loss on the individual trade. So for instance, PSCH, let's say I just let it expire worthless on February 19th. I would put a profit of 174. Let's say I bought to close this for $74. In that case, I'd subtract 174 minus 74. The profit will be $100 and so on. My total profit, I'm just adding the total premiums for now of every option that I made. And then the amount invested. This is the strike price times 100. So as you can see, my total invested was $10,050. I happened to pick an option that had a strike price of 5.5 .5 instead of 5. So not completely set on exactly 10,000. It could stray a bit at times, but I don't want to go much more than like a thousand or two.
So here are the options that I made. PSTH is a, I did a few videos on, it's a SPAC from Bill Ackman that is trying to acquire another company. They haven't made any decisions yet, but if they do, the stock price could change quite a bit. Stock price has been hovering between 24 to 27 in the last few weeks. I did a strike price pretty close to it, but the delta was only 0.22, so about a 1 in 5 chance it gets lower than 25. The premium is pretty high for 45 days. That was my first trade. Next one's SRNE, pretty low trading uh, pharmaceutical company. I did a monthly on this one. Strike price at seven. I did 5.5, which is a pretty big drop. Premium was $34. It's so $1.33 a day and the same delta as PSCH. PLTR, my first trade that I'm already in the negative on, but did make this on the 28th. I'm only doing a two week expiration up until January 8th. Stock price is now around 24, I think. But the strike price was at 27. I did get a huge premium on this in just two weeks. So this one I am going to most likely cover call on it once I get a sign. Ideally, I get a sign somewhere between 24 to 27 or so, although it could go much lower than that. This might be an interesting play, but the game per day is the highest I have at $5.80. CRSR, Corsair Gaming, it's a gaming company that's been moving the stock price quite a bit. I did a two-week... Um, Cash geared put, it has to go down $6.34, which is 20% in two weeks. If it doesn't go down 20% in two weeks, I made $57 out of a $3,000 position. So just looking at these percentages, $57, a whole $3,000 for two weeks, we're getting a 2% gain right there in just two weeks. The goal on this plan is to get 2% per month. So I could have actually done this strike price at the end of the month and same premium, I could have went much lower in the strike price in that regard to get the same amount. Last one's H-O-I-L-N, Highline. They do electric vehicles. Did a monthly on this one. Strike price currently sixteen sixty seven. dollars Sold the strike at $13. Premium $59. So the total premiums for the current positions are $481. And I am investing $10,050. If you do $481, Divide it by the 10,050, we're at a times 100 to make it a percent. We're at 4.78 percent for the mo most of them in the month. Some of them are weekly. But let's say all these expire worthless. I'm earning 4.78 percent for all these options. The only option that goes past this month is PSTH. This one's at the same. These two, I could roll and then do another one in the end of the month. So this percent could theoretically be even higher than that. I think 2% a month. Again, I'll be very happy with 2% a month, and hopefully you'll be too. 2% 2 a month might be a reasonable offers that I make. So again, these are pretty risky stocks. I'm not necessarily wanting to buy and hold these for many decades. So these are just for most likely the wheel strategy. I'm going to start on the cash secured put side. And then if any get a sign, I'm going to do covered calls. I might occasionally roll up and out or down and out if needed and if I feel like it's best to do. So again, this is an investing teacher, high school science teacher, teaching others how to invest. Please let me know if you have any questions, comments, thoughts on this particular strategy. And if you want to follow along with me, feel free to do so. I read all comments, so definitely share your thoughts on this and look forward to sharing what happens the rest of the year.